Lights, camera, action. The Oakville Film Festival, known as OFA, is running now through June 25th. The seven-day celebration and screenings of spectacular films kicked off last night at a free family fun event in Town Square. As you can see all around you, there's all kinds of activities. Everything from Lego, to drawing walls, to big blue blocks, to the library truck, to the OFA Name That Movie game. And then we have crafts and uh, birdhouse making and um, all kinds of really interesting stuff going on. And there's a lot of like active games for kids. Over 80 specially curated feature films, documentaries, short films and web series will be screening all weekend long at film.ca cinemas with a big gala event happening tonight. We've got an amazing Kenyan Canadian cultural experience for everybody. Uh, so to start with, we have Adam Solomon uh, performing. He's a Kenyan Canadian artist, just amazing. He's a Juno award winning artist. And we have Kenyan dancers as well that will be outside at the Oakville Centre dancing for you. We also have um, a lots of stuff going on inside as well. And then of course uh, the hit of the evening is Kip Kembwa. Kip Kembwa is an amazing Canadian uh, film. It's Kenyan Canadian with a Nigerian director, Charles uh, Uwagbe. But it's just an amazing film about a young boy who basically turns the financial system upside down uh, because he's a genius and he invents an algorithm to disrupt, to disrupt the stock market. Friday marks National Indigenous Peoples Day and as always OFA will host a special event. We have the Canadian, Eastern Canadian premiere of the Great Salish Heist. Now this is an Indigenous heist comedy. And it's the first of its kind. There's no other film like this. Um, it's actually rare to find Indigenous comedies in films that do such a good job at also, um, you know, looking at serious social issues like cultural artifact appropriation. And this film does an amazing job at that because it does it in a way that's, yes, it's entertaining, audience will love the film, but they'll think very deeply about a lot of the issues in the film. We have some amazing people coming uh, for these two galas. There are many local filmmakers with features playing this weekend as well, and each film features Q&A sessions and other surprises. Tickets are still available, though some screenings have sold out, so get your tickets at ofa.ca. For Halton News, I'm Jessica Kading.